All right. So we're actually going to let you start this one off with some T Higgins talk. Yeah. All right. So we're going to start here with some T Higgins, right? So look, a lot of people are concerned with Chase and that he could take a lot of volume. And I think that's a really stupid reason to be concerned because AJ Green. So I took weeks three through eight, right? Um, three through nine, Joe Burrow was healthy. Nine, he had the nine was the bye week for the Bengals, though. So weeks three through eight, because T Higgins obviously as a rookie receiver took a couple weeks to get adjusted to the offense, just like Justin Jefferson did. All rookie receivers, you know, you, most rookie receivers have a couple weeks where you know they're just not really involved in the offense at all. So weeks three through eight, this guy was a top fifteen receiver in points per game. And that point, and that's in points per game among all 2020 receivers that played at least six games. Because I wanted to be fair, because T. Higgins only played six games in this time frame. So among receivers that played six games, he was the top 15 guy, right? And during that time, AJ Green was on a 17 game pace for 116 targets. So do we expect Jamar Chase to see that many targets? Right around there, I would say that's a fair number to guess, right around that many targets in the offense. So if he's just left like it was last year with Joe Burrow coming back healthy with Jamar Chase seeing that many targets, he's a top 15 receiver and he's being drafted outside the top 24 in most drafts in like the fifth, sixth round. I've been scooping up that value all day. I I love T Higgins and he's making some monster plays in camp. He's making some absolute big plays. He's a six, four, 216 pound receiver. He is an alpha. I believe right now he's a better talent than Jamar Chase. I, I absolutely love T Higgins. I think this is a guy you really need to scope up in your drafts as your wide receiver two or even a flex option. You can get him pretty late. I love T Higgins. This is a guy you got to be targeting. Yeah, I I'm a big fan of T Higgins myself. You know, in Dynasty, I still have Jamar Chase, you know, higher than him ranking wise, but I don't want people to forget about T Higgins. Like T Higgins had a great he's rookie 22, season. And he's also 22. Like great, great athletic profile. Set up. T Higgins Skyler, set up here. What do you think about T. Higgins? Um, well, he's not going as late for, you know, in your dynasty drafts that people are having now. And your oh, yeah, dynasty drafts. Yeah, sorry. Startups, he's, he's kicking off at like, uh, he's coming off the board at wide receiver 19, which is still probably too low. I mean, fourth I, round. I would say that's the fourth. I still think like that's low. Fish round. It's back in yeah. the fourth, right? So yeah, my, usually, only, my yeah. only thing here between the two, I have Higgins and Chase back to back in my rankings. Um, mm-hmm. Different styles of players. It's really what you're looking for there. But with Higgins, I mean, Chase has gone all the way up to wide receiver 10 in ADP in recent drafts, which is just, it's ridiculous for me to have a rookie wide receiver has not played one snap jump all the way into the top 12. I mean, I understand the his prospect level we haven't seen really since Amari Cooper or Julio Jones, but it's just, it's just wild to me because with Higgins, we saw it. You know, um, he, as you said, I mean, he got five to 10 targets every single week between week two and week 16. Like, you want consistency. That's crazy. And as you alluded to earlier with A.J. Green, A.J. Green was getting force-fed the ball at times. It almost felt like early in the season. They were really trying. Okay, there were two straight down. games. There were two straight games where he had 10-plus targets. Yeah. Uh, I have his game log right here. In weeks, um, right here, week six and seven, 11 targets, 13 targets. Yeah, so... Yeah. So, so they were they were trying to get AJ Green to be back as a part of the offense, and it just wasn't clicking. Whether it was AJ Green really the decline or the the quality of target, but really, you know, if your concern is volume for Higgins, you saw right there the path where they can all get the ball, they can all get there. So we haven't even talked. About, yeah, we haven't even talked about Boyd yet. So for me, uh, what I like about Higgins is the best value of the bunch is where if you if you think him and Chase are even close, Chase is creeping up into the mid third with guys like. DK or CeeDee Lamb have already shown NFL production. And you have T. Higgins, who's also shown that production, who's sliding to the back of the fourth top of the And fifth. he's like the same age, too. He's like 22 years old, and he's proven that he's the guy. He's proven that he's that type of guy. Yeah, he's a young he's boy. Being drafted a, he's being drafted a couple rounds later. Yeah, he's got that alpha it, size. You know, he's mm-hmm. got great size-adjusted speed scores. He's tough. He's a go-get-a guy with touchdown upside. He's got everything you want from longevity aspects of a wide receiver. So for Dynasty, T. Higgins is, is a great target. Yeah, and you're hearing in camp that he's just been tearing it up, you know, really taking oh, yeah. that jump this year. I, There's no reason why they both can't have great success in the offense.